am I doing? Hey guys, welcome to Big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe early. And if you dig what we did, share with your friends. Today we're going to show you what we like to do with our jack-o'-lanterns, with our pumpkins. We're going to show you our carving process, uh, and then we're going to show you how we light them. And it's not just a simple little candle inside. We go extreme. We go all out. We're going to use these. So let's carve the pumpkin, and I'll show you what to do with these. And then as soon as it's dark outside, we'll show you how we light them. All right, let's get carving. I'm coming in here. I'm going to carve the pumpkin up. I've got my big old bowl for seeds because we like to cook them and eat them. Knife. Whenever I'm carving the lid of the pumpkin, I like to cut it at an angle so that it can't drop back in. And we always try to make a little key so we know which way it goes back on. And you have to keep in mind that you have to make the hole big enough to fit your paper towel, toilet paper roll also. Ta-da! Maddie wanted a chance to reach in the icky pumpkin. Did you want to get in here and scoop a little? Yeah, I want some good. You want to get some pumpkin guts on your hand? Oh, can I fold it back for them? No, no, we need the lid. Why? Um, because it'll look naked without its head on. All right, reach in there, grab some guts out. You don't want to? I just want to oh. stay here and watch. Oh, I see. Let's see what kind of fix. Okay, so now that you've seen the pumpkin being carved, let me show you what we do to light it. This is the first step in the, pro in the process, okay? You want to get yourself some toilet paper. De depending on the size of your pumpkin, you're either going to want toilet paper or paper towel. Either one will work. If you've got a nice tall pumpkin, a full roll of paper towels will be great. Otherwise, toilet paper. Don't get the super cheap stuff, the itty bitty roll, but you don't have to break the bank either. You want a decent sized roll something either two ply or just a really thick roll and I'm gonna show you why right now you can do this in a bucket you can use a garbage bag for this you can use I've got a what's this a five five gallon zip one gallon ziploc bag one gallon ziploc bag the roll of toilet paper this came from the 99 cent store it's only gonna cost you 99 cents put this in the bag and now this is citronella this is liquid fuel, the Tiki Torch fuel, Walmart, yeah, Targets, you can find these anywhere. This came from Dollar General. Um, it was only a couple bucks, it said six, but it was half off when I bought it. And all you're gonna do is fill the bag. You don't necessarily need to fill the bag, but pour it in on the toilet paper. Now what's going to happen is this is going to act like a wick to a candle. I'm going to go about half the bottle. Let's see. Go a little. Still a couple dry spots. I'm 
I'm like, you could really load this thing up if you want to buy multiples. Do a five, you know, a big, big old bucket, a five gallon bucket, and stack toilet paper or paper towel rolls, and just fill it full of this stuff. That'll work great. Um, you want to let this sit at least a couple hours all overnight. Um, if it's really, really soaked in it, you probably don't want to leave it for too long, otherwise it might just fall apart. But I will zip this up, and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon right now. By the time it's dark, seven o'clock ish, this will be ready to go. So it's just going to soak up that citronella. This is going to act like a great big old giant wick to a candle, and you're you're going to be all, it's going to be awesome when we actually light it. So um, yeah, let's get to that. Okay, guys, we're outside. It's kind of dark. Maybe you can see me. Maybe you can't. It's also windy. Maybe you can hear me. Maybe you can't. But here's where we finish. The pumpkin is cut. We're taking it out. The bag with the, the toilet paper roll soaked in citronella. Using a pair of tongs. Pull it out and stick it in the pumpkin. Any excess liquid, I like to just pour it in there too. Okay, so now, box of matches, there it goes, and we're lit. So with the proper roll of toilet paper or paper towel, it'll burn like this for a good 20 to 30 minutes. I've even seen it go as long as 45 minutes. Not only does it look cool, but because you're using citronella, it smells cool and it keeps the bugs away. Now again, you could use paper towel, toilet paper, whatever. Just citronella soaking and it'll burn like a candle for a long time. So a word of caution right now as well, make sure that the setting that your pumpkin is on is somewhat fireproof, green grass, not, not dead grass. Put a brick on a couple bricks under it. It doesn't get too hot on the bottom, but you do want to take precautions as to what's around you with this much flame. So let's take a look with the lid on it. back off. See it doesn't, I don't know if you can see that, but it, it singes the pumpkin but it doesn't burn it through because of all the moisture in the pumpkin itself. You can really only do this once, maybe twice with the pumpkin. By the time it's done burning through, it's going to be a lot of burn. So you, you might want to save this one for Halloween night or party night or whatever you're doing. Line up a whole bunch of pumpkins, line up a whole bunch of toilet paper. and This is awesome. All right, we'll let this burn out for a little while, but we'll say goodbye to you guys now. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends. Let us know in the comments down below if you end up doing this. Um, 
I want to see the videos. I want to know. I want to know if you guys do this and if it works out all right. Find us on social media: Big John TV, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Happy Halloween. Have fun. Be safe.